In this video, we're gonna talk about the final rumors and leaks regarding Nvidia's upcoming 1660 launch. The card is in fact being released in just a few days time. I will be keeping you guys up to date with benchmarks and several games on the channel. I will obviously also look at comparisons and how this new card performs versus similar graphics cards as well. If there is anything in particular that you would like to see, let me know in the comments. A quick question, do you think that this card is worth 280 euros? US dollars let me know in the comments below now in case you're not fully up to date on this card I did a whole video covering all the bits and pieces of this card such as specifications price other benchmarks and a lot of more interesting details in case you haven't seen that there's a link to that video down below but basically the 1660 Ti is a touring based graphics card same type of architecture as the RTX branded cards but without tensor cores this time and so no ray tracing for 279 US dollars. It will be using the TU116 GPU, which is a whole new GPU. And yeah, this is what it looks like right next to the TU16, the RTX 2060. So as you can see, it is a bit smaller. The 1660 Ti will feature 1536 CUDA cores and it will carry 6GB of GDDDR6 memory. But there is a 3 GB version coming in March as well for 229 US dollars. New interesting leaks are revealing the GTX 1660 Ti score in Ashes of Singularity's benchmark tool. It turns out that the card is almost on par with a GTX 1070 in the highest graphics settings in 1080p. Now, Ashes, if you don't know, is an RTS game that is known for being very demanding. The card was also tested in Geekbench in the OpenCL graphics API test scoring 191,416 points which is really good. Now if you take a look at what these other cards are scoring in this test you will find the GTX 1080 scoring 181,000 and the RTX 2060 at 213,000. Now taking a look at this result again the core clock was running at 1.88 gigahertz so that is suggesting that they were using a card with good overclocking potential since this frequency is a bit faster than the 1.77 gigahertz turbo boost which is supposed to be the standard number for this card now what's important to have in mind that this is benchmarks of a card that is not being announced yet so there might as well be improvements with newer and official driver support to eke out even higher scores here here on this new card as well. Now earlier last week an additional leak showed off a GTX 1660 Ti benchmark in Final Fantasy 16 where the 1660 scored higher than a GTX 1070 again in 2560 by 1440p at high quality. Now it is important to add that the benchmark in Final Fantasy 16 is not the best benchmark tool out there but it gives us a clear indication what to expect of this card at least there's been a lot of pictures from a wide range of third-party vendors that's been spreading across the internet lately and it seems like the 1660 is going to be a card with a lot of different variations in terms of clock speeds coolers and RGB gigabyte MSI and Asus have all many different cards in the making now the release date was pushed back a little but yeah according to many sources now the release date is on february 22nd and it seems to be the final date here in addition to that the gigabyte card was spotted on both amazon uk and eu a few days ago but yeah it has since then been taken down now i have a pc standing ready to run tests and benchmarks in the latest games such as metro exodus far cry new dawn battlefield 5 apex and yeah more so definitely stick around if you're curious how how this new card will perform. Now I want to know your thoughts guys, 280 US dollars, does it seem reasonable? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna be back with a brand new video tomorrow guys. Until then, have an awesome day right?